The amount of Wisconsin kids homeschooled has gone from just under 1,000 in 1985 to around 30,000 today. A local organization known for environmental education will now add programming for the growing number of homeschooled students. Newswatch Fell's Nick Van Zyl has more from our studios. Nick? Thanks, Dan. Trees for Tomorrow in Eagle River teaches everything from bird watching to maple syrup production. But for the first time ever, they're hosting a, a day camp for children who are homeschooled. A really tiny preschooler to an 80, 90 year old visitor who has a cabin in the area. We just want to educate everybody about sustainable natural resources. The goal to educate everyone unfortunately had a gap. Beth Heft is an environmental educator at Trees for Tomorrow in Eagle River. She heard from a community survey that the nonprofit wasn't including all students. It's cool that you do K through 12 learning experiences, but they're only really available for kids in schools where the school comes to your facility. Now, children who are homeschooled will have the same opportunities to learn as other students. So we're going to try opening up three homeschooling days throughout the year of 2023, see how it goes, and the first one is on March 30th. Staff have been busy planning educational activities that keep students engaged. School appropriate curriculum for grades one through eight um, and our theme for March is going to be on forestry and trees. For little kids, that's as basic as learning the difference between a pine and a spruce, while older students will have more advanced curriculum. Learning how to take scientific observations and keep a journal and do field studies. These science-based learning opportunities will help students prepare for their future. That helps them retain that like knowledge, that science knowledge that we want them to get. Um, and it's always fun to be able to identify basic trees and things, so they'll be able to use that for years to come. Trees for Tomorrow has other spring events planned, including maple syrup production, bird watching, and composting at home. 